here. Pretty even health bars to begin this. We know Lissandra's ult is on cooldown, and Chongo just gets straight up in trouble. But now here comes Snowflower, and he wants to re-engage Smeb from behind. He's going to be immediately ulted here, but he is in the shroud. And Roots, he is so low, he's going to be stomped down by BDD on that Aatrox, who is just incredibly strong at this point in time. Takes out one, takes out another. It's going to stop Watch even. Are taking a bit of har harassment here. The Infernal Chains, the Flash Forward, the Ignite! Is it going to be enough as Fly's ticking down one more? Against Alessandra. And Alessandra starts this at over full health. He actually loses out on some efficiency from a corrupting potion charge. Gets snapped back in, the Flash comes in, and Fly dies. Yep. That's just the full combo and you're dead. We're gonna follow the Q in, and Zenit has the Spell Shield. Now Khan blocks something like the Glacial Fissure. Teleport, of course, has to be taken there from Fly. Not gonna take the Claw as King, and immediately the World Ender comes down, and now this is the Fiesta that we've been looking forward to in this series. Life gets onto his teammates, uses the stopwatch, and somehow no one has died, and they're not going to Realm War. Chase is hyper-aggressive, all on top of the poor Braum and three. Uh, we'll go down there, stop farming. We can't catch the does it, as that's the flash in from on fleek. But BDD, not gonna get stymied by that at all. Voice of Light coming out as the Celestial Expansion. One more hit will do it, and that's it. One Their way forward, the Baron, once again, extraordinarily low. Oh, oh. He might just be oh, oh, there we go, finally. Sandra has been actually very good. And we've seen, oh, okay. Here's the last breath, and uh, Castle Curse is gonna oh. come out, but he does oh. get out. Oh, the if he can do that again. I have a feeling that they could be able to repeat it. Uh, Peanut, he just gets set up on there. The alley. Yep. Well, Snow Snowflower is going to dive on forward. They get some knockups, but not the ones that BDD wanted. And finally, a cast. Uh -oh. He's going to go wide. The Braum is going to go down. Peanut is going to go into stasis, but should eventually fall down. But it is going to be the Steel Tempest that gets it. BDD still very, very low. Ruler has got a whole bunch of kills so far. BDD, BDD another auto attack. And that's going to be the GA. As Smep flashes on top of him, the stopwatch. He puts him in the baby cage, but the flash is going to create the distance. The Nar from Juve is going to stop Smeb from getting any further forward. And Ruler is going to stay alive, but there it is. He holds onto it right till the end, but Fly is going to be the answer. And another cage. See you later, mate. Paddle, sorry. The portal jump, not going to. targeted sense. Let's not the tankiest in a lane trade. Nice punishment from SKT. Oh, that he catches him. The max range. Holy moly. Really that he can get into a fight. Now, you could also chase on Khan. Maybe this is the side of the Baron. Yeah, Khan just taking a bunch of damage. Oh. Just gonna flash oh. over the wall, but nice response yeah. here. They're going way too deep. Wait, what's happening here? What is going on? Uh -oh. Flynn is going way too far, but guys, uh, Vladimir is still a champion. Can he take them out? Baker able to burst him down as well, but Gango chipping him away one by one. The question is, does it matter? The answer is Vlad is a champion, as Gango is not going to be able to do much on the backside. You're very forgiving on this draft, SKT. You got a lot of options, but our battle might about to come off cooldown. Yes, Bro! Comes in and Kellen, he's so low. Are they just going to? No, they're going to continue. They don't have on it. it. They want to turn on to. Up to Grace here, but they he's able to, now. to get what? out of this one. Okay, um. down goes Seize, and there What is. are you doing? They stay on the Baron, and Score says they Looking for the potential flank here. They're going for the engage. As look at the damage already. No great. Oh. See you later. One, two, punch from the side of Zed. It's now taking it all alone. But oh. the Oh, baby. Oh. The Zoe or rather the Yasuo into the back yes, line. Say, well, we lost the Zone attack. That could be a problem. Here's the team fight, though, speaking of problems. And the Vladimir immediately gets taken down. It's a good pulverize in the back line. Is there's the sweep, the dunk from BDD. You got rid of one threat, but there's still two left. Triple kill for the chain. That could have been a huge disaster. As speaking of which, Mu is also just, oh no, Honey Bear is here. The flash forward from BDD. Has instead opted in for more tanky round. I think it's really, really bad. Oh my god! Yeah, screen top lane camp as Grace might be dead. Yep, this could be a disgraceful moment, Papa Smith. Is one auto has to come in. It's almost the outplay. But BDD even picks well, up the flashes. flash to try and get out of hey! second one. A blast cone, not even close. He does eventually start that up. That's okay, here we go. Big ultimate on Takuzan has already taken a bunch of damage here as Peanut. 
he's got to be dodged there. Flash away as First Blood comes in. That's a double and kill. And a double Come kill. On. Ruler's still alive. And not out of this one yet. Yubi going to pick up the kill here as Ruler wants to go 1v4. And honestly, might be able to do it here as BDD's he's trying his best, but he's oh. going to get the big knock up. And down he will kill them as three kills. How did this actually evolve the kill to you? Mayon is tanking every single one. Okay, trying to burst down Prey here. The Cataclysm is going to come in as long as that TP, the Tarek Ultimate, trying to keep them all topped up here. You can see PDD just waiting for it, hiding them in the backside, but Rascal trying to make a play in the front line is going to be able to push them back. Kind of a wonky fight here. It's PDD. We're going way too deep on that play. Uh oh, PDD now. He's got some items. Whereas Snowflower does not. 5v4 now, it's Kingzo that makes the mistake, Rascal saw by the way, oh, and they clean up that! He's got some of the best scaling up as well as Empress Divide is going to catch oh. Faker, no flash available, and he's just, if you're going to win, win in a perfect game, KT, it's the least you can do! Oh, but this is a bit of a problem, BDD's all alone in the final chapter, but he's got to flash away! Jarvan goes in by himself, and he's got BDD behind him! They're going to be able to do it 2v5, essentially! And they are going to shut them all down. BDD just taking them down one by one. And Snowplow does find his way in, but the follow-up damage is huge. Are the blades going to finally be utilized here as Emperor's Divide is going to get King out of there? But he flashes to get back through Dub, shifts some sands, gets out right of the arcane, not going to be... Oh! Finds the lock! Perfect job of beating. Uh, as here we go, looking for it now. The flash on in, and you are so dead. Doesn't even need to use right? it. Corral them into a fight as the hook gets on the prey here. Venusaur comes in. Oh! And the huge ultimate from ADD. Can KT actually do it this time around? It looks like they have. ADD has been very sprightly. Two times in a row. Now has to dominate. He's getting requiems here. Teleport gonna come in. Stopwatch, will it save his life? The stun is gonna come in, and he's playing oh! two of them in, but Rascal is gonna pick up the kill, but it's not gonna matter, as KT will be able to pick up two for the price of one. But Dump Green down as both of those supports gonna take it. Requiem should do some pretty big damage, but actually not enough to get Kingston in a good spot. Look at the poke damage out of BDD. It's insane. Oh! As he's going in, BDD wants this game. 